Yeah, here we go. What's up, everybody? This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist. Let's do this, baby. Who's with me? Let's do this. I'm about to do a painting. It's going to be on a 9 by 12, 9 by 12 inches canvas. Stretch canvas on a 9 by 12. Let's do this. Those of you who are ready to do this, do this. Those of you who are not, I'm so sorry for you. That you're not ready to do this the sound you hear on the background it's uh it's my my uh what do they call it my cooler i live i i, I live <laughs> i yeah pretty much now i work in a in a uh large warehouse it's over three thousand square foot warehouse uh a little over three thousand square feet and uh and so i I have the cooler on because it was hot today. You know, that's that's the thing about warehouses. It's hot when it's hot, it's cold when it's cold. You can really feel it. So it's been a little bit hot. All right. Hot, hot, hot. Yeah, baby. It's been hot. All right, so here we go. Let's start this. I'm going to start a little painting right here. Happy little trees and shit. Let's do this. So, here's uh, one of the things that I like to do is, is check it out. It's going to be a little base with flowers. But one of the things that I like to do is sort of just, you know, draw this thing right here. But, you know, you want to take your time with it. A lot, of, a lot of people are very sloppy with it. Just, just because it's loose. Loose doesn't mean sloppy, okay? I just want to make that clear. A lot of people think that, oh my God, Jose paints so loose. Loose does not mean sloppy. Loose means that you are loose, but it does not mean sloppy. It could also mean fast, but fast doesn't mean sloppy either. I know some people think that they see me painting very fast and they're like, oh, he's being so sloppy with it. I'm not being sloppy, I promise you. Please believe me. So I know there's some artists out there who are like, man, I need to paint loose. And then they start doing the whole, like, the whole loose thing, but they do it really sloppy. Uh, I mean, do whatever you want. I'm not going to tell you how to do it, but... I'm just saying, lose does not mean sloppy. Because in, in, when, when you're painting sloppy, there's a, you're thinking too much. When you're painting very careful, you're also thinking too much. Very careful and very sloppy, It's to me, it's the same thing. Very careful and painting like extremely sloppy or extremely careful, it's, it's, it, to me, it's, it's like one and the same. You know, you want you want to get yourself into a position where you're painting, uh, but you're not worried about time. That's very tricky to do, guys. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's very, very fucking tricky to do. Uh, it usually means if, if if you're trying to paint sloppy, it usually means you're thinking a lot, and so you when you think a lot, you have the idea of time in your head. <laughs> guys sorry about that how's it going richard what's up what's up, what's up catfish 07 yeah loco coco bra yeah what's up everybody what's up what's up maral bet maral bet maral bet so i was as i was telling you guys uh you want to get yourself in a position where you're not where you don't feel like you need uh this whole idea of time is a killer, guys. I'm telling you, okay? I'm not, not, even, jo not even joking with you. Uh, if you have this idea that time is, is sucking the life out of you, you are probably in a position where you are not... You're not painting... Um, you're not fully painting yet, okay? Anyone, I'll tell you this, anyone who's painting... Uh, desperately painting if you are desperately painting if you're not painting calmly you can be loose but you have to be calm guys you have to be calm okay it's not that's not means you can be fast but you have to be calm fast and calm is a very very difficult thing to to here let's do this shit right here there we go fast and calm is a very difficult thing to to accomplish oh my god this person keeps bothering me i swear this uh, some crazy lady. 
bought some uh, artwork for me at some point, but oh my god, uh, uh, she was like, you know, you know those trouble, like those, like those trouble people, man. Like I like to stay miles away from that person. Anyways, that was my rant. Yes, every now and then, hopefully never, but every now and then there's that person that's like, oh my god, like what do you want? It's not that they. It's not that they want attention. It's that they. It's that they want all of you, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, anyways, let me get back to my to my thing that I'm talking about here. Look, guys, if if you are an artist and you're having a hard time because maybe you're like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm painting and the painting's not coming out, and you're a little bit, a little bit desperate or whatever, you, you probably. Are fighting with time okay you're probably fighting with the idea of time what you need to do is, is paint calmly guys it doesn't matter that you're painting are you painting uh, loose or abstract paint calmly look at what I'm doing right here look calmly calmly it's not it's not gonna benefit you to try to paint loose I, I, see I'm, I'm saying this because a lot of people that 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 try to paint kind of like the deal that I'm doing here they, they think, oh, this, this cat's just painting really sloppy. So all I got to do is paint sloppy. I mean, go for it. I, I, don't know if, if, I don't know if people are going to want to pay you for that, but go for it. Um, sloppy is not the same as loose, guys. Okay, I just want to say that. And, and fast. Painting fast does not mean uh, sloppy either. You can be, you can be fast... But you, you will not get speed without first getting, um, getting be, being slow first. Slow, calmly. Not slow as in, as in like taking all your time, but calmly, calmly. Look. Imbarato, imbarato, as Eric Cartman would say. Imbarato. Look, calmly, baby. See? You paint calmly. You get the key, you you get the keys of uh, the the kingdom when you paint calmly. The keys of the kingdom is to paint calmly. Look, there's no rush. Who's rushing you? Why are they rushing you? Why are you allowing people to rush you? There's no rush. Look, check it out. Look, ooh la la, mucho trevian, mucho Francois right here. And I get it. There's those moments that we're like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I can't do it. I, I don't have time. But man, like, it's better to, it's better to feel that you got all the time in the world, guys. You have to, you have to put yourself in that position. It's not, it's not easy. It is not easy, but it's simple. All you really have to do is paint without the idea that you're going to do anything with the painting. Are you going to go try to sell it or you're going to do anything? Nope. You're just painting. Look. And the paint the painting comes out by itself. It doesn't really require you. If you're doing it like calmly, it doesn't really require you. The painting doesn't really need much of you. It's magical like that. It, it's it's when you're trying to hurry that all kinds of wrong shit start happening. Okay? It's a bit of a, a, a paradox. It's like it's like move, but take your time. <laughs> it's, a, it's almost like a paradox. Uh, it's very fucking zen, actually. It's move, but take your time. The very first time that I actually heard someone say that, or that I got that idea from, was uh, uh, Why Herb. I was reading, because, you know, like, Arizona is all about, like, the Wild West and whatnot, and so the, this guy was the, 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 there was a uh, what do you call it? An interview about this guy, White Earp, and, and and the guy who was interviewing him asked him, "Hey, how did you survive all this, all this uh, gunfights and all that shit in the Wild West, right?" And and then he said, "Oh, I learned from the old timers. You can you can probably Google that. It's worth a Google." He said, "I learned from the old timers." This is this this is wide earth, right? And he said the trick is the trick, right? The trick is to move fast 
while taking your time. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> That's what he said. He, and he didn't even know me. If he knew me, we would have been amigos. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know if he would have liked this bad hombre. I think he would have. Um, that's what he said. The trick is to move fast, but take your time. And, and, and that's a that's, that's a Zen concept. That's not that's not something that anybody or everybody would just know. That cat that cat knew something about it. That's a it's, it's almost a Buddhist Zen. Um, um, what do we call this? Esoteric concept. That's not a concept, but let's call it a concept because it feels like if we call it something, at least we can point to it. If you move, if you move with calm, if you're calm, but you but you keep moving, you're actually moving fast. This is a uh, this is. This is really my, my, my superpower. When people are like, oh my God, how do you do all that? Dude, they're, they're, it, it's, it's not that I do so much necessarily. It's that I keep moving. That's a superpower. See, the, every, every moment that you spend thinking about something, you see movement. It's better to move, even if, you're, even if it looks like you're moving slow. It's like the clouds, right? It's like the clouds. They're moving. You just don't know because because they look like they're moving slow, but they're moving. They're always moving. You guys ever seen any of those videos where the clouds are moving in the sky? It, it, the freaking clouds are moving. Right? It's just that we don't think they're moving when we look at them. You have to stare at them for a little while and then realize, oh my God, look, they're moving. Right? But it's a very Zen concept. It's it's oh it's also like water right water is always moving it's always in a, in a state of unless you unless even if you trap it somewhere it it it's 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 doing this you just can't see right it's doing this it's rocking itself it's rocking right it's moving um, if you're an artist and you're not moving oh baby you're in for a treat see the 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 whole the whole trick about being an artist or doing anything is to move baby. You just gotta move. But too many of us get stuck. Too many of us get stuck. We're like, we're like, oh yeah, I want to paint. I want to paint. Too many of us go, I want to paint. And then we go and we start thinking about what we're gonna paint, or we start thinking about how we don't have time, or we start we start thinking about all these things. Guys, don't don't think because I'm a full time artist, I don't have those thoughts. If if I would have not gone. About those thoughts, I would never become a full-time artist. I, I know those, and, and I haven't fully gone about those thoughts. Those, those thoughts still fuck with me. They're like, hey, how, how's it going, Jose? You want to feel like shit? We're going to make you feel like you, like, like you don't have time. That's what my thoughts do sometimes, you know? Hey, you want to feel like shit today? All you got to do is feel like you don't have time. And then you're going to start feeling really bad. Because you got all these things to do and you feel like you don't have time. Man, I still go through that. That's the daily. That's the daily. You know, and all I got to do is like zen myself out and remind myself, hey, 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 hey. Start here. Start here. There's no, there's no, there's no need to feel like you don't have time. There's always time. What there isn't, what there isn't, um, is perceived time right there's always time but what there isn't is perceived time the idea the idea is killing you but not real real time's not killing you baby it's just the idea you know what's up what's up Jared so this this whole thing about painting loose has people like thinking that painting loose means means being being sloppy and it's not guys it's not it's, it's actually it's actually not sloppy at all it just looks that way to the untrained eye <laughs> to the untrained eye painting loose means that you are that you are comfortable with 
letting something go to gain something else. That's all it means. You're exchanging. That's really all it means is you're exchanging one thing for another. I'm exchanging realism or, or, or um, I'm exchanging a lot of, of um, what do they call it? Uh, yeah, realism or representational, right? I'm, I'm exchanging the, the representational aspect in order to gain an expressive right an expressive part that wasn't there that 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 never nowhere in hell in a million years will something very representational give you expression right that's why some of the best artists in the world uh in history were very abstract for one reason guys because if they wanted to to really conceive something with a lot of expression you need to go beyond the idea of what we consider realism, right? If you really want to express something, you need to go beyond uh, the whole idea of realism. If, if you're trying to be this realist painter and this realistic painter, this very, um, trying to paint every single little thing and whatnot, you, you are going to do that, but you're going to miss, you're going to miss other things, right? And that's what the abstract artist does. That's what the, the the loose painter does. You're 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 missing some of the representational to gain the expressive, right? You're you're willing to 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 bargain with that. You're willing to let it go. A lot of artists have a hard time with that. Even even though I'm including myself, right? You don't think that there's days that I'm like, oh my god, it doesn't look like anything. Because I want it to look like something, right? I want it to look like something. And so therefore, there's always this, uh, there's always this fight, right? There's this fight, there's this, this fight going on between it needs to look like something, but I need to express something. Right? I, I, I want it to be somewhat representational, not completely, but I also want to express something. So this is this this fight going on. And it's just part of it, guys. It's not it doesn't end. Right? It doesn't end. It doesn't matter what who the artist is, it doesn't end. It, there's always something there. Even for abstract artists, we have this idea in our minds that, you know, if you're an abstract artist, you probably have many ideas in your mind of what abstract art should look like and you're therefore not completely free right because you're in that in that struggle right very few artists are completely free and I, I think the less the artist knows about art the more free the artist is the less the artist knows and that's a tricky thing to do Knowing without knowing is a very tricky thing to do in, in art. It's a, it's a master level, you know. It's a master level as a, as a painter. If you learn how to know without knowing, uh, it's a very it's a very high level. It's an allowing level. Right? It's an allowing level. I'm getting all esoteric today. I don't know why. What the hell? What's going on with me? It must have been the breakfast I had. Look at that. So I'm telling you guys, be cool, stay in school. I gotta go now. I did two paintings for you guys here live in this little segment. There it is. I, I need to I need to put some white in there. It's calling me. There you go. By the way, if you like what you saw here, uh, this painting will be available on my eBay shop. Okay, the auction will start at one dollar. Check it out. The link is in my profile. Bam, baby. Peace. <laughs>